Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today's regular video. We're going to go thrifting today at etc. shop. Um, normally it's a hit or miss, but we're going to go see. Their prices are decent. Sometimes they do have higher prices, but not as high as Goodwill. So <laughs> let's go. Wish us luck, right? Let's go. So right when you walk in, they had this wedding dress. $50. It's really pretty. Kind of makes me sad because you would rather have those things passed down to somebody else. Maybe nobody else wanted to wear it. I don't know. This is the silent auction box or <laughs> uh, cabinet. <laughs> this is the complete lost DVD set. Did y'all ever watch that? They want $20 starting, starting bid on the Onyx. They said vases, but those look like cups to me. $10. Now, this section used to be the auction. It's not anymore. Those puzzles that were cardboard were $6 a piece. That's $50 on that. I used to have a pink one when I was a kid. A little $50 on that cat thing. I don't know. Some Pokemon cards, that's $5. But it looks like it's just the case and it only has like one card in there is what it looks like to me. A little dollhouse with the furniture and some babies and mom and dad. I don't know if that's the original dollhouse furniture that goes with this because it's all metal and this was fifty dollars not auction just set price and the whole thing's metal i would have the sound on but there's music and you get a copyright strike if you are uploading that stuff to youtube a harmonica i think that's what that is back there i didn't see the prices on those or the prices on the horse that horse is ten dollars but i don't think he has a it's not My Little Pony, definitely not. Cricket stuff. They still have those dolls from last time I was here, which was like a month ago. And they were like $50 for the bag. Do you all remember that? Sometimes they reduce the prices, but it doesn't look like it. That's $10 for that dollhouse. But I want to see what it looks like. Let's see if they'll let me... A little punch bowl. They used to just have that punch bowl stuff out and now it's behind a shelf. Lancome back there. Some metal tractors. That ticket to ride down at the bottom. So it's like a chalkboard on the inside. I don't know if it's magnetic or not. It is metal, but it's like cardboard chalkboard. You know what I mean? So I don't think that part. I don't know. I did ask her if it had anything else that came with it, and she said no. She did say it looks like it came with something else. It used to be like a whole set, but they don't have it. Those little perler beads, I think that's what they're called. You know the ones that you melt? They have a mirror. Little cutting board, it's $2. Just for decor, you wouldn't cut on that because of the paint. And that one doesn't have a price. Maybe it did on the white piece, but <laughs> I didn't want to keep looking. So my son found the bag of Boyd's Bears. He was over at the toys. These do sell. So we're definitely picking those up. And I saw a little chicken in there. Probably going to keep the chicken. They had these last time as well. They're a dollar, <laughs> not a dollar, a hundred and twenty-five. A hundred dollars and twenty-five. It used to be one seventy-five. Same with the other one. But they kind of, I do want them. Y'all don't know how bad I want these things. I want one of them. I don't care which one. But the plugs, the plugs scare me. And I'll show you because I don't know if you can plug those into your house outlet. Or do you need like a, um, do you need to rewire it? Look at it. Or do y'all feel comfortable plugging that into your house? Kind of scares me. I feel like it'll catch fire. And I probably wouldn't have felt that way until I watched like a This Is Us. <laughs> if you've never watched that, I won't spoil it for you. But if you know, you know. Little sewing patterns. 
Sometimes I pick these up if it's a specific one, but nothing's grabbing my attention. Those Boyd's Bears is a good hit, though. Not the big ones, just the little tiny mini ones sell like crazy. At least for me, every time I've listed them, they normally sell within a day or two. Sometimes within a couple hours after I've listed it. A little old puppy. I think he's supposed to be a puppy. I don't see a brand on him, and he is well-loved. He's pretty dirty. I'll just leave him. Wonderful toy, made in USA. See that stain on him? I hope y'all are appreciating me bending down <laughs> and looking at the stuff on the bottom shelf. You're welcome. All the books. Now, they used to have so many more books. It makes me kind of sad because they used to have way more. Either they got rid of them or people just aren't donating them anymore. I don't know. Baloney? Is that what that says? <laughs> It was like an alien on the front. I like that little toy all about to sh <laughs> It's these things. I don't know what they're called, but they're great like little hand-eye motor skills for little kids. You know, like your one-year-olds and up. It's Mickey Mouse, it's $2. Mickey, Pluto, Minnie, Donald, and Goofy. But they're like the baby ones. Aren't they cute? I already have you know, like a newer version, not Mickey Mouse. What? Oh, I didn't even see the wiener. <laughs> the weenie mobile. Is that what you call them? The weenie mobile? I wish I would have saw that. I have some whistles <laughs> that I've kept for my kids. But this is a dollhouse bag. $2 dollhouse furniture. And I normally sell those too. So I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt about that little weenie plush. I got distracted. Don't you hate that? <laughs> Puzzles, board games. I don't know what this thing is. It's a pickle, I think. It says in a pickle. I don't know what kind of game that is. A little vintage Uno, 50 cents. I don't know if everything's in there because it is taped. I'll probably ask him at checkout to untape it so I can look. It says 1978. I'm not going to sell that. I'm going to keep it. So we got two things. The dollhouse furniture for sale and the Boyd's Bears minis. That says password. 12th edition. Trinomiums. I don't know how to say that, but I have some of those that I've gotten from here in the past. Math mouse game. That was 50 cents. Elementary set for ages 8 to 11. Or 6 to 11, my bad. Nine games. I don't know what that is, but... It's also taped. <laughs> Peanuts. I think that's a puzzle. That's the continents. Probably had some other pieces that you could put on there. Jitters word game. I just love the old graphics on these games. Everything now is just like giant bright colors. You know what I'm talking about. It doesn't give you that vibe anymore like these do. This is Flinch. Card game for everyone. Special deck of 150 cards. Is it like... BS, that game. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's not called BS. It's called something else. But <laughs> I'll let it ride in the buggy. That's like blocks. Those are blocks for puzzles. It's 50 cents. I'm going to hold on to that. I don't know what these are. I don't hear the little pieces rattling in there because I know there should be like pegs in there. This is $2 for the rummy game and a deck of cards with the box. 
I don't know what rummy is. <laughs> I just know the box is cute. And I'll do some comps on it, but we'll let it ride for now. Some more little puzzles. Kind of mad that I did not see that plush. It's fine. Maybe it didn't have a resale value. That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> a boggle. 50% larger cubes. It's $3. It is sealed. <laughs> they taped it. That's just like a little kid. It says busy box, but it's like a busy board. It probably had other pieces that hooked onto it, or you can hook it onto like a crib or something. It's probably not safe anymore to do that kind of stuff, but <laughs> they did back in the day and they did in the 90s hook stuff to the crib. And the little pillow pet down there, that unicorn thing, stuffed animal, which is trying to clean up our mess. And that came right back out. Mix and match. It's a Bible verse. I think it's a game. It's pretty cool, though. There's that pickle game again. <laughs> Puzzles. An off-brand My Little Pony over there. I like this doll bed, little crib. I don't know how much it is. There's the tag, $5. I wonder if it's handmade. It's really cute. A little sit and spin, but that one's newer. I remember the sit and spins being way bigger. Or maybe I was just in my my mind. <laughs> That's ten dollars for this bag of three Boyd Bears. I'll let it ride, but I don't think that's a good deal for resale. Maybe if you're just a collector wanting to pick them up yourself, that's probably a good deal. But definitely not for resale. And then we're at the baggies. The baggies are my favorite. <laughs> just miscellaneous junk probably i love the little rooster i wish he was in the bag though because that's a mcdonald's one it's got the puppy anteater and a tigger head clip probably all mcdonald's toys because i think i had that <laughs> winnie the pooh head clip vintage tinker toys five dollars i wonder if they used to have this in that case up there and then nobody bought it so they put it back here It's a little squirrel. It's $10 though. It looks like you put the little balls in his mouth. The beads. I don't know guys. I don't know. I didn't make the game. Just reporting back. <laughs> That's $2 on that puzzle. We did see this last time. It is metal. It's a magnetic puzzle. But he kind of looks kind of wonky. Right? To me he does. There's some more Beanie Babies. That's a donkey with the American flag on it. And the turtle and Cocker Spaniel and Blue Jay. If that donkey was in its original packaging, it probably could have a resale value, but I don't know for sure. And I think the donkey means Democrat. Is that what that means? And the elephant's Republican. I was trying to see the year on him, but I couldn't see it through the bag. I'll let it ride. These ones are still sealed. It's $3 for this bag. Now, <laughs> y'all know Beanie Babies do not have a resale value, even though our parents told us they would. <laughs> they do not. But I wonder if that's why this person kept them all in the package. Anyways, but these are great stocking stuffers. Those are like little lace-up hand-eye coordination, motor skills for little kids. I do pick these up if they're wood, but that's like a really flimsy cardboard, so we'll just left that behind. A bag of dinos. That's $5 for the bag. They look like Jurassic Park ones. I've picked some up in the past. 
I don't know what that stuff is. That's like a little... Looks like a game. Like a puzzle game. Anyways, so... These I'm probably going to save for Christmas if I can get out the store without him noticing that I have them. <laughs> He'll probably see them though. That's like the very hungry caterpillar down at the bottom. Looks like a whole bunch of just McDonald's toys and other little junk. I was looking to see if they had any more Beanie Babies. Little checkers, I'm guessing. There's some more of those dolls. This says two antique dolls. Two dollars. This was probably up in that glass case and they took it out because it didn't sell. Look at their eyes opening and closing. <laughs> I don't know what brand they were. I can't see their feet because normally sometimes either on the back of them or on their feet will say. But I don't know about the older versions like that. I have no clue. I don't think they're Madame Alexander because my daughter has some of those. The old ones. She absolutely loves those. But I'm not in on those dolls that their eyes open and close. They do creep me out. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be a pound puppy over there. Like a giant one. We're just going to clean up our mess. <laughs> some more Beanie Babies. And some more. So there's three bags. And then there's some Beanie Babies up there over that shelf. Now these... <laughs> if you look at comps, sometimes it'll say $1,000 for one being sold for that and I just like I think that's like money laundering because I don't think that um I don't think anybody's paying a thousand dollars for that transformers these I will not be selling these I'll get for my son I don't know what year they are they're definitely older maybe early 2000s late 90s because the newer ones look different but my son's favorite is bumblebee you know the yellow Camaro yeah. I mean even if we're on, in the car driving somewhere and he sees a yellow Camaro driving around he says it's Bumblebee and I just think it's the cutest thing I don't know what the red one I don't know his name but we'll definitely pick them up they look in great condition definitely going to save them for Christmas time hopefully we can <laughs> purchase these without him seeing little old wooden chairs i have some so that's a chess it says turbo i don't know what it says <laughs> turbo 16k is that what that says eight dollars for one so yeah if you're gonna come in here and you want some of those boyd's bears that bag of 10 for three is probably a good deal that's three dollars kids like that kind of stuff but I'm pretty sure that dinosaur in that car that's in there probably take those I'm gonna say it those dumb tiny little watch batteries they're like buttons they're like the size of a button you know what I'm talking about anyways every time I've had something that takes those little button batteries <laughs> it never doesn't matter if you replace them or not they don't work the same correctly I don't I don't know why but I'm going to look and see if it takes like a AAA or if it takes that button battery. They've got this lauded for four of them for $17. Y'all know I love me some mugs. But $17 for four, I think that's like resale value. But they are that salt. I don't know what brand of salt that is. Is that like Mort's? <laughs> I don't know. It probably said it on the thing. Now if I could have picked them up for $0.99 cents each or even $1.25 each, I would have picked them up. Not for 17. Little hen. It is hand painted, so definitely a hobbyist piece. And it's $5. It is cute, but I had to leave it. I think the steal of the day was uh, the boys' bears. Or you could say the find of the day. I wanted to see what this thing was. It looks like. The lid comes off. It's a hobbyist piece. It is signed at the bottom, but it wasn't legible. I did look at it off camera. 
Looks like they might have wrote it with a toothpick because <laughs> you couldn't really tell what it said. Like at all. And we normally come here first, this little section first, but the prices, you saw the $17 for the four mugs. <laughs> so that's why we went to the toys first. That's $4. It is nice. Probably could have did some comps on it. Probably should have did comps on it. That's okay. We'll just put them up in the category of the Wiener Mobile. <laughs> Both things that probably should have been looked up. <laughs> it's okay. That looks like Wells Fargo logo. A little box. I wonder if it had like a watch in it or something. I don't know what that says. It was five dollars. Wood stuff. Nothing too crazy. I like this little bell. Two dollars. It says Viking on the back. Probably should have looked that up too. I don't normally pick up bells though. I'm glad we found the stuff that we did though. That's six dollars for the cabbage bowl. And that was fifteen dollars. My eyes were not deceiving me when I saw that on the top shelf. And they're all 15 a piece. No, ma'am. <laughs> home. It is a different day because <laughs> it was a thousand degrees. It's supposed to be 104 today. 104 today. I can't. Right? And that's not without, that's without the humidity and everything else that we've got going on. And it's just like straight sun and meat. That's <laughs> terrible. Anyways, but we're back home. I'm going to show you everything that I got. I'm going to just flip the camera over so y'all can see it better I did get a lot of stuff mostly for my kids like for gifts so there are a couple things that I got for resale and I'll show you all right this is the floor y'all can see that so we did get the bags and there was eight of these little McDonald's Beanie Babies per bag and the bags were each three dollars now these aren't for resale I do have some that I have listed like two years ago didn't sell I might take them out and give them to my kids. <laughs> Anyways, so we've got the cute little fish. There are duplicates. I think that's a fish. Yeah, coral the fish. Husky, anteater, the butterfly, crab. I think he's a cocker spaniel. Yep, cocker spaniel. Another anteater, a black and white cat. I absolutely love this one. I saw this one in the bag and I said I had to have it. <laughs> I have the big one of these or like the regular sized one. And I always thought it was a chameleon, but it says it's an iguana. It even has like the little, I don't know, crest right here like a chameleon does. What do y'all think? And it even has the curly tail, right? Chameleons have that. Cur curly tail, that piece. I don't know. But I let my son have mine from when I was a kid. I let my other, you know, my daughters have the others too. Another crab, blue jay, caterpillar. These are great little stocking stuffers. And my kids are still into little stuff like Beanie Babies and stuff like that. We did get the dollhouse furniture. This is for resale. This was $2 for the whole bag. I sell dollhouse furniture pretty quick. I have no clue what this thing is, and you can hear something in there, and I don't know how to get it out. It says, renewal product made in USA. I don't know what that means, but I got it mostly because of this. It's a freaking sewing machine table, and it's the renewal made in USA. Can you see that? The little drawers come out, and this thing goes down. I don't know how to do it with one hand without, I don't want to snap it. And then it'll close. Isn't that cool? And then this little piece actually turns. Can you see that? The little needle goes up and down. It's just a metal piece. But it's so cool. Little carriage and a little kitchen. And some couches. Okay. Boyd's Bears. I normally don't pick those up because they don't have a big resale value for me. They might sell for other people, but for me they don't. But the minis, the minis sell for me. Every time I pick them up always sell within like 24 hours after I list them. So I've got this whole bag for $8. Normally this will probably sell for 40 
plus shipping or more if I have the whole complete set. So I don't know what this set's called. It's on eBay. I can't remember what it is right now. They all have the tags. And the last Boyd's Bears that I sold, it was like Christmas and it was the minis and I sold that for $40. And then I sold a Halloween one for about the same price, but there was only three of the Halloween. But I'm gonna keep these. It's a hen and a rooster. Oh my goodness. Look how cute they are. And y'all know I used to have chickens, so we gonna keep this one. The rooster and hen. Aren't they cute? They all have little clothes on. It's so cute. We did get the Rummy Game. And this was $2 for the bag. It was Rummy Game and the cards. We're gonna sell this one as well. Okay, I don't know how you play that game. But look at the cute little pictures. Turtle. Goose. What's that one? A sheep, mouse, baby chick, rabbit, a fox. So even if you didn't want to use them for playing this game, which I don't know how you play it, you could use it for like bookmarks or junk journals or whatever else. Isn't that cool? So cool to me. <laughs> I did get that bag of dinosaurs. I was going to keep it for my son for Christmas time. And I know Christmas is a long ways away, but he didn't see them in the buggy. We went to the checkout and the checkout lady was like, are you getting dinosaurs? And he looked at me like so happy and I was like, yep, getting dinosaurs. So he got them already. <laughs> we did get the transformers. Now my, these are for my son, but he didn't see them. So luckily we made out with that, but I don't know who this one is. I kind of think it's Bumblebee cause he's yellow on this side. And that's my son's absolute favorite. And I think these are either late 90s, early 2000s version. Because the newer versions don't look like this. But I know Bumblebee is a yellow Camaro. So I don't know if that's Bumblebee or not. And I don't know this one's name. And I don't know how to make their head stay out. So if y'all know how, tell me. <laughs> or I could probably YouTube it. We did get the Boggle. $3 for the Boggle. It says big boggle and they are wood they're not plastic I absolutely love that they're wood and put that back I don't know what year that is how it should look on the box I don't see it where it says it we did get uno I actually don't have uno at all isn't that crazy? It's 50 cents. So it does have all the cards, I'm assuming. Look at that classic Uno game. It says 1978. It does, somebody put their regular playing cards in here. And then I didn't know it used to have a scorecard. That's somebody's 95 to 116. I never really keep score. We just, whoever ends up with their cards gone wins. <sighs> did get this. $4. It did have everything in there. It didn't have all the 5,000 beads, though. It had the pegboards and the projects, but that was it. But I let my daughter have that already. I thought that was a good activity. And I did get that bucket of beads for like $2. And that is everything that I got today. I hope y'all are having a great Friday, a wonderful weekend. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope y'all are having a great day and a wonderful weekend. If you liked this video, there's two more that you can click on. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.